For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Ravi. In this video session, uh, we are going to see that how you can monitor uh, MS SQL instance uh, using the Nagios Core. So, what is the plugin you have to use, and how you can configure that plugin in a Nagios Core, and how you can monitor that uh, uh, plugin here. So, let's see how you can do that. So, first of all. Uh, we have to uh, download the plugin here okay so just type uh, check underscore mysql not just plugin download and uh, go to this exchange not just exchange okay and this is the plugin and this is the template for pnp for Nachos. okay we just download both of them okay and uh, copy this data here okay so using the WinHCP plugin, so WinHCP software. So this is the WinHCP and uh, 192.168.48.200 is the Nagios server IP address and provide the username and password. So now let's upload this both the files. okay so upload it and you can just type ls here you can see that and uh, let's change the permissions h mode uh, u plus x so that you can execute it here so but whenever you execute this pl file uh, you may have to get some okay so maybe the dependencies package is already installed in this so we are not getting any error here but if you get some error so something like you need to have some uh, parallel packages uh, which is called parallel uh, dpi package and parallel dbd mysql package and uh, parallel gd package so these are the packages you have to install uh, uh, if you do not get uh, if you get some error so what is the error you will get something like you cannot find the dba.bm file something like that in order to resolve that error so you have to install these packages okay again you have to install some cup on module uh, which is uh, cup on install dbi so you have to install this so which will resolve your dependencies so now uh, here there is no mysql instances installed uh, in our cl7 or the centos 7 centos 8 we do not have mysql we have mariadb so you can also monitor mariadb and mysql is a similar way so i'm just going to install mariadb here mariadb server and mariadb so which is already installed the packages maybe i just type something like star if you have any dependencies so all are installed successfully so already the dependencies got already installed so now system ctl enable mariadb and uh, system ctl start MariaDB. So after this, uh, we have to just run the first installation script, which is uh, MySQL underscore secure installation. So in order to set the first root password,
okay so change the password do you want to change the password yes and say and just change the password here and remove anonymous users and uh, disallow remote login no i would like to allow remote login and remove the databases and access test databases and reload the privileges so now what happens uh, i just try to log into the root account and see whether i could able to log in or not okay i could able to log in so now i just verify the uh, parameters with the help of uh, with the help of this command iphone iphone help and from this help we have to make the not just command so what is the help is saying here so iphone d is for database string iphone u for username iphone p for password and iphone h for the host address and iphone t for timeout iphone f for mysql default file strings and queries monitoring show status and uh, variable details all of this so based out of this we'll make the not just com command and configure the uh, monitoring so let's uh, in order to configure the monitoring in order to configure the monitoring uh, we just use a different user so we'll just create a different user and grant the permissions to that user and we can monitor it otherwise you can also use by default that root account to monitor so i'm not creating any user here just create it using the default root account for this demo purpose okay so now uh, edit slash usr local nagios etc objects and commands.cfg file and in this we have to add the command so the command is define the command and the common name what is that check check underscore my sql d one i'm giving so i'm adding two commands here one command line is check underscore my sql d dot pl and uh, iphone h is for address iphone t for timeout maybe I say five seconds is the timeout and uh, iphone u for username dollar argument one and iphone p for password dollar argument two so this is one command and i'm going to define a similar command here one more so which has the more options here so you can define the username and password out of this and maybe you would like to define some database also here to monitor iphone d as a argument 3 which is arg 2 dollar and uh, if you go to this and here he already given some values for the monitoring of these values you can simply copy until this values and uh, paste it here so which will monitor most of these values like uh, uptime connectivity thread count show queries slow queries open tables how many threads are running all of these details will be monitored by these uh, parameters so i just copy them here iphone a called arguments and save this value now we have to go to slash usr local not just etc and here we have linux servers and in this we have a linux server right but uh, that is not our server we just go to objects and edit the local host so this is where we have the nacho server is uh, the mari db we would like to monitor here okay so what is this we are going to define here define 
service use the template until this one okay and uh, use the host name and service description I say my SQL database status is one first one and uh, check command is check underscore my SQL D one and here we have to provide the username and password and the database name so I'm just going to create the new database which is called uh, Nagios to verify the database is working fine or not and again we are going to define one more service uh, which is also similar way but not one here and no database so which is called mysql instance status okay and uh, save these values and uh, copy this mysql check underscore mysql pl file to slash usr local not yours libx where your files are there and uh, change that execution permissions to that file and ch own not yours not cmd for permissions change this value now uh, we have to create the database mysql and create database which is not yours i have given there so it says database is already exist okay exit now just verify the configuration so we could able to see that uh, is there any nachos errors nachos are local nachos bin nachos iphone e and uh, etc nachos.org configuration file and here what we are able to see that duplicate uh, command definition okay so in this i have maybe entered two times yeah so which i'm recheck sorry recheck the status so now everything is fine system ctl restart not your service and we just go to here and log in the web page 192.168.48.200 not yours sign and you can see the services so which are pending here so let's wait for a few minutes so the services will come up and we'll see that how it is coming the status so now you can see that the mysql database check is fine you can see that the database is exit and it could able to get the mysql uh, mariadb version and it says the status is okay uh, but if you go to this here so it says that we have defined the values as open tables as the value 25 here but the open tables here it is was 66 so that's why it is giving the error value which means that it is a critical what we have defined the value is more than that so that will change the value here which is says 25 i will change it to 250 something like that tc objects command dot cg so 
we have to see after a few minutes the ms sql will be come back that's about it guys thanks for watching stay tuned please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos and courses